Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2. In the last episode, we came along this rather strange room, and we saw Angela being attacked by this dead monster right here. Well, James went and killed the monster, and Angela freaked out and left. There are a couple of things I want to talk about right before I leave this room, and it has to do with a lot with how different this looks than everything else that we've come across before. And this is the only room we're going to find that really looks like this. And the reason why is because we have moved from James's version of Silent Hill into Angela's. Silent Hill becomes sort of the personal hell of whoever is being uh, drawn to it. In the first game, it was, it was Alyssa's hell that Harry was pulled into. In this game, well, we have reason to believe that James is a subject of it, and it's his own personal hell. But there are two other characters, or three or four, perhaps, running around Silent Hill that have been drawn to it. Well, that was Angela's personal hell, and it had something to do with the weird sort of explicit sexual kind of imagery that we're seeing in there. We see a lot of like flesh-covered walls and this weird pulsating on those pistons up on the top and well that seems to imply something to do with what she mentioned with her sort of uh, well not quite so fun childhood it seems as though she was maybe sexually abused as a child by her father so there's a connection there now this is some shitty looking stuff here see a bunch of dead bodies hanging from the ceiling. This is going to be a puzzle. We have to do a check each body. Check the body. Okay, crime of thievery was hung. I'm right there, just read the fucking note. Okay, a murderer. Kidnapper. Counterfeiter. Swindling. Not all of these are things I would hang a person for. And arson. Now the puzzle that we have to do doesn't involve just this room. We have to go into another room. And when I was first playing the game, uh, the first time I went through here, I could not figure this out for the life of me. Maybe it's because I was a bit of an idiot. Whoa. Same room. Only instead of bodies, we just have the robes with the noose on the end. Well, we have to go over here and read this note. Uh, okay, that sounds bad. Okay, butcher. Cooked them, frying pan, blah, blah, blah. Then we have... Oh. Kidnapper. Thief. Counterfeiter. There's the arson. Wait a sec. Three houses and the ashes burned. The sheriff with no place to turn did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up, and beat him down. Doesn't sound like the person they hung was the person who did it. Wait a sec. Okay, all these other people seem like they did it. Except for the arsonist. Just, uh, a scapegoat. Well... The arsonist in the other room was attached to this noose, so I'm going to pull this one. Well, nothing happened. I wonder if I should go back to the other room. Whoa! Oh, 
Well, okay, he's gone. Get a key. Hey, I'll take it. Good thing we got that key, isn't it? Now, who would do such a thing? Good thing we already got the key. Oh, better reload. Did I just use another first aid kit? Oh, can't believe I did that. What I would do before I moved on, if I were James, is go and reattach those handcuffs back up to the thing just in case this thing decided to slide down on me while I was down there. Also, I noticed a shadow going on with the, uh, the bars there. That's a pretty good effect for the PlayStation 2. Or really any console of the generation. finally catches up to Maria and finds her dead. And that's quite a messed up thought considering that she, she was alive in the last episode, although she had died a number of episodes before that. That's just really messed up. But now that Mary's dead, he can concentrate on his mission to go and do whatever the hell it was he was planning on doing. I remember not quite that long ago he was planning on going and finding Lara. Apparently he's given up on that. Ooh, first aid kit. Oh, boy, what in the hell is this? Fell and drank one last bottle. Well, you know what? James has described himself as being an alcoholic, hasn't he? We're not going to be able to read all the tombstones. There is a save point up there. Some good old-fashioned ammunition. More shotgun. Wish I could control the camera. Walter Sullivan, and that was the name of the serial killer that we read a news article about. And he's also the subject of the game Silent Hill 4, but he doesn't really have a whole lot to do with this right here. Too scratched up, or perhaps missing? It's 
graves are open. Eddie. Angela. And James. Oh, okay. We have three fresh graves, and they have the names of the three people I was talking about earlier. And these seem to be the three people that are brought into Silent Hill. And from what I see, the town intends to kill all three of them. James' grave, however, has a friggin' hole in the bottom of it. Eh, what the hell, we jumped down a million holes so far, what's one more? Oh great, more down. We haven't had enough down recently. Oh, there's fog down here. Is it being pumped in through these little things here? Oh, it's weird. Oh shit, everything just turned red. I think we just wandered into Eddie's Eddie? hell. What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? Oh, there we go. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Oh, damn. Boss battle time. Now this one's going to be, uh, the first part of this, I'm going to go and pull out the great knife, only because it's big, slow, but we're in a close area. And if I can actually get this attack out on, on him, I'm going to friggin' kill him. Bam! I got him. Damn. Okay, he didn't die, but I managed to get him to flee, and uh, I wasn't the best performance I could have done, but hey. Before we move on, a couple of things you can pick up in here, good old shotgun shells. But I'd say we've moved into Eddie's hell, rather than, uh, James's or Angela's. And I say that this this one uh, has perhaps been uh, <laughs> rather than trying to torture Eddie, it seems to be someplace he actually enjoys. Because, I mean, there are people running around. All these people, I assume, weren't monsters. They were, he perceived to be people. And he ran around killing them and it, just to uh, make himself feel good. It's sort of a uh, Kind of a messed up way. Do you 
know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed a dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> Gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! Okay, time for another fight. Now this one you're gonna wanna maybe keep your distance a little bit more from Eddie. Don't just try duking it out with him. And uh, carry a gun. <laughs> See if I can get him. And uh, try not to get killed yourself. Uh, yeah, why not? There we go. Took a lot of shots to kill that bastard. Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Wow, okay. <laughs> Eddie seems to have summed it up perfectly. That this town called you too. It wasn't just a man showing up. The letter that Mary sent him perhaps wasn't actually from Mary or it wasn't what he thought it was or something like that. In fact, you know what? The letter he received is blank now. Too bad we can't take his gun. But Silent Hill seemed to have pulled Eddie in, presented him with kind of an exaggerated version of what he had seen his entire life, people picking on him and all that, and drove him insane. He killed him, he just ran around killing a bunch of people, until it finally boosted up his confidence enough that he had the power to run around killing people that he just completely lost his mind. But before he was pulled into Silent Hill, he had shot a dog that was barking at him. I guess it just drove him over the edge. Then the dog's owner ran up and he shot the owner in the leg. It's the wrong door. Whoa, haven't we gone down below sea level at this point? 
We were going down a lot. Save point. What the hell is that? Is that a tree? And a boat. Now the... The boat launch next to the Silent Hill Historical Society will take us to the other side of the lake, but uh, we can't really see it on the map here. But the hotel that they had spent their time with three or four years ago, whatever it was, is on the other side, and that's where that light is coming from. So James is going to go take himself over there. I don't know about him, but considering what's going on, I don't think I'd want to be caught in the friggin' water on this little last boat. Hasn't he played Resident Evil 4? It's the wrong way, though, bro. Okay, now we gotta control. We gotta go take James over to the other side. We go see the light, and we can go and head in that direction. But now he's on the boat. I'll take this as the end of the episode. So thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the next one where James makes it to the hotel.